DJ's Brewtube mixed drink how to. You see the liquor up in front of us, so you know you suspect that the missus may have been good. So it's time for DJ to kick out his bartending skills that he earned so many moons ago and make her a lovely drink. And she's been extra good. So I'm gonna make her drink that's gonna put her on her ass. That's right, what drink are we gonna have today? Well, you see the big ass hurricane glass, so maybe you suspect we're gonna have a hurricane cocktail today. Hell yes. Now, this one that I'm gonna make is the New Orleans style hurricane cocktail. It's my favorite. And there's many hurricane variations, recipes, riffs, whatever you want to call them. But I like the New Orleans style because I'm a big Jimmy Buffett parrothead, parrothead kind of guy. And that's sort of the style that I always drank when I went to the Buffett concerts and tailgated and all that good stuff in my more hard liquor drinking days. Now I'm more, more of a suds head, you know, hop head, that kind of thing. So enough flapping my gums. Let's get this drink going. So now this is a shaking drink. You can also stir it. Some people do. I prefer to shake it because when you shake it, you expand the drink, put some air in it, and I think it brightens up the flavors when you've got, you know, orange juice and pineapple juice and things like that going on. So I've got my shots pre-poured to save you that tedium. And first up, we've got real simple ingredients. We've got rum and big our big friend 151 rum, orange juice, pineapple juice, and grenadine. Easy. I'll put the complete recipe below in the notes and at the end of the video. So first up, we've got an ounce of white rum. It doesn't have to be super expensive rum. Some folks, oh, you're going to buy premium, blah, blah. No, come on. It's a mixed drink. A lot of times you're not going to know it. When you order a restaurant, a drink in a restaurant, most times it's rail liquors, you know, where they're not putting the top drawer stuff because top drawer stuff is meant to drink on ice or neat, you know, that kind of thing. So next we've got a big ounce of dark rum. So moving up the scale, we've got an even bigger ounce of 151. That's right. Rum's big bad cousin, 151. Yes. Actually, you know, it tastes pretty good, even though it's really fusel and it burns. There's a lot of vanilla and woody notes and everything in that spirit. A lot more flavor than you would think, but you, you got to tamper that down with some water or ice if you're going to drink it neat. So, all right, we've got our um, spirits in the tin. Next up, we're going to put in three ounces of orange juice. So we got one, two, three. Doesn't have to be exact, and if you spill, it doesn't matter because you put plastic below to protect things. Now, we've got three ounces of pineapple juice. One, two, three. Pretty simple, right guys? We're not talking rocket science here. So, finally, to finish the drink off, we're gonna put in a half ounce of grenadine. Grenadine's gonna give it that nice color. Now, some folks use passion fruit syrup and all that in this drink, and that's a pain in the butt to find sometimes, guys. I don't know if you ever try to look for passion fruit syrup in my bartending days we had it but they never bought it because it was more expensive than grenadine so we always used grenadine because that's how it rolls in a commercial bar so now got it in our tin make sure both tops are good now we're going to shake the drink when you're shaking a drink man and you're making a drink for somebody you guys should smile why because you're doing something happy and fun you're making somebody a drink what's so upset and sad about that gotta get that shake face on baby Because when we're shaking a drink, we're in it to win it. All right, now we're going to shake and strain into our pre-iced and chilled hurricane glass. Now, this is one of those great drinks, I think, because you can make it any way you like. You can make it as strong as you want. You can make it as mild as you want. Put a little lime wedge or lime slice on there. Get the last of it in. And I like to top it with just a little bit of OJ to give it that pretty look because that'll sit on the top of that and there you have it one hurricane cocktail easy breezy shake it pour it drink it let's take a sip here oh yeah the missus is gonna like that one that'll take care of business tonight guys <laughs> you know so to the next DJ's brew tube guys Thanks a million to each and every one of you for watching. Remember, rate, comment, subscribe. If there's some kind of drink that you want me to make, let me know. I will try to do so if I'm not being lazy. So, till then, like I said, thanks to each and every one of you. I appreciate you for watching. Think globally, drink locally, support the craft drink movement, maybe, or beer movement. I don't know. So, till then, I got nothing but a bunch of love for you. So, I'm drinking happiness and a big-ass what? Hell yeah. Peace out.